Yo, 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 what's good with y'all? Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode 9. I'm here with my brother, another one of the members, you know what I'm saying? What's good, gangster? Let him know. It's your boy JR, you know who it is. JR in the building. building, bro. What's good with you, man? What's good? You know, like I told you before, bro, I think this is one of our first conversations we had. Actually, an actual conversation we had since you left for the Marines, bro. That's facts. You know. Big facts, actually. And I've been trying to tell you, like, I've been waiting for this episode. <laughs> You don't understand the I really don't the shit I gotta tell you, bro. I think I'm I'm gonna convince you about one of these stories, bro. That Word? I heard. Yeah. What about like the military or just in general? There's some about the military okay. and then there's some that involves the military that might be true. But mm. we'll get into that a little later, right, bro. Bet, bet, bet. So bro, what I wanna talk about is we know you've been in the Marines, right? For how long? Like what, four or five years? No, it's four years. So tell me about how like how was it? In your experience, from a one to ten, mm. you really want to know? Yeah. Damn. Uh, in all honesty, I mean, like everything is has its ups and downs, but I'm giving that shit like a solid fucking, like a five. Like, like a, a five? five out of ten, absolutely. Yeah. Weren't you stationed in Hawaii? Yeah, but um, the thing with Hawaii or whatever, my unit. So there's units that you know, you get into the Marine Corps, you finally make it to the fleet. I'll explain what that is oh. in a bit. Um, and you just stay there the whole time. Yeah. But my unit. Uh, it goes out all the goddamn time. Like, I went to Japan, Cali, Arizona, Korea. You was in Korea? Yeah, for a month. When? Um, Last time I went to Japan. Like, where? North, South? Um, It's South. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, using North Korea would have been deep for you. Nigga, the people in Korea can't even get out, so. <laughs> um, Yo. Yeah. So, I wasn't really, every, like, in total, out of my, like, two and a half years in Hawaii, I was probably there for, like... Nine months, maybe. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. Like, actually in Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so were you in the field field? Because I know bad. I see Bass riding in tanks and shit. Yeah. So, you was in the field? Yeah. What'd you do? You never really explained to me, like, what you actually did. Um, it's just training. Well, fucking training, right? You yeah. don't do shit out there. I mean, you shoot ranges. And uh, you just do exercises and stuff. And, like, for me, it's especially boring because I'm just a radio operator. I'm not out there running a gun. And I did for a little bit. I was with snipers. I got to shoot a couple cool things. But, really, you just go out there for, like, a month or two months in shitty living conditions. I'm talking about, like, the desert. I know. You told me you was in the desert living on, like, a little bunk, like a bunk bed. <sighs> yeah. In the... And that's, like, when you're... So, technically, when we're not in Hawaii, it's the field, right? Yeah. So, when you're in the field, there's a field and there's, like, a field field. So, fucking, um... When I'm like, when I have the beds or like the cots that I'm sleeping in, that's still the field technically because I'm not in Hawaii. Yeah. But when we push out to the field field, that's when you're sleeping on a fucking, like, a, it's called an isomat. It's basically like a thin ass layer of just like, I can't even fucking, it's probably about as thin as this shit is your table. And you sleep on the floor, like rocks. It didn't matter where you were. You just find a place to sleep with like a sleeping bag. What the it. hell? I didn't think it was that bad. No. Honestly, when you said you was communication, I thought you was one of those guys that called in the nukes or called in the, the freaking airstrike or some shit, bro. Well, technically, I, like, you know, if so, yeah, that'd be me, but no. Nah. So if if anything happened, like, if you was in Afghanistan and they needed, like, air support, they would call you and you'll send in the, the freaking bombs? Yeah, I'd pass over the traffic. And mm. I set up the radios for all that to happen, so yeah. Dang. Well, oh. Remember all them stories you used to tell me during um uh, when you came back from training, from mm. basic training? I remember you told me this one story about how they used to make you yell or some shit. Oh. Tell me about that one. I forgot about that one. I mean, so basic training is all about screaming. Honestly, it's like all about you're not giving enough volume. Yeah. So like if you're not screaming, like so I, not even me, I screamed obviously. I've gotten fucked up for it, for not yelling loud enough and stuff like that. But there's this one kid. They made this kid go to the bathroom, look in the mirror at himself, and scream at himself saying, I'm not screaming because you're not screaming for like 30 minutes, bro. What? Yeah. <laughs> like screaming, you're not screaming because I'm not screaming. He said that for 30 minutes straight? Yeah. No, absolutely, yeah. What? I mean, they can make you do anything they want. Like I remember, didn't you, remember you told me about that thing, it was like, they'll make you, like, you have to like, raise your voice at a certain level and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. So like, we'll be in formation or anywhere. We'll be out in this, like at the chow hall. It doesn't matter where because they can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. So um, they'll do this thing called pulling the volume out of you. So like, you'll scream or whatever, and they'll reach back and get the scream louder, and then you'll have to scream quieter like that. And they go ah, 
like that, yeah. <laughs> What's the point of that? Oh, just be a dickhead, really. Honestly, it's just to be an asshole. But also, the whole point of basic training in the Marine Corps, apparently, is so that they build you down to build you back up into what they want you to be. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So did it work? So did it help? <laughs> what was that? Just look like it worked. <laughs> Fuck no. Hell no. I just got through it for three months and then went right back to being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but I still got the videos. Mm, of what? Of you smacking the billy goats. Damn. Right, I'm gonna post that little video right here of all the animal abuse. I was talking to Jordan about that, bro. Hey, yo. You and Chima was mm. grabbing the the goats by the horn and like breaking their necks. That was talking crazy to me. They can't talk. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> nah, I was asking for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's talking spicy. Yo, I'm surprised the niggas didn't spit on you. Where like the llama <laughs> didn't come around to spit on your ass. Damn. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, that's. Hope. So they just really just made you scream, bro? Oh, yeah, much more. Like, any, I'm telling you, like, if you could think it, they could do it to me, and I had to do it. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm. But now, this is what I want to talk to you about, bro. I've been waiting to talk to you about this for mad long. Mm. So I read on Reddit, right? Okay. So this was in 2002, and it was a Marine. They went. This is when they first go to Afghanistan shit like that. So, like, I guess a, a unit went out on a scout or something like that, and they never came back. And they called in the Green Berets to go look for them. So mm. they went searching through the mountains for about, I think, two weeks, and they couldn't find nothing. So they yeah. found a goat trail, and they seen, like, patches of clothes mm. and broken walkie-talkies and shit. And they just started following the trail, and then they started seeing bones, started seeing more ripped clothes, more ripped uh, broken guns and stuff like that. And then they come around the corner of the mountain and there's like an opening, like a ledge. And then in that ledge, you see a, um, you just see like three big caves. And they were like, all right, what the fuck going on? So they walk into the caves, right? And this is a true story, by the mm. way. Like like uh, a Marine was told this story by one of the Green Berets that was on that mission. Mm-hmm. So they, the Green Berets, they go into the cave, right? And so... When you go into the cave, there's like a big drop. So they stop, they come out. Then all of a sudden, you see a big ass spear come right out the cave. Hit the guy's name is Danny. Hit Danny right in the chest. Danny died, bro. A big, they said this, a fifteen. They said a fifteen foot tall man came out, dressed in like tattered clothes made out of animals, like a caveman looking guy. Red hair, six fingers on each hand, six fingers on each toe. Red beard, like 10, 15 feet tall, right? And you look at me like I'm crazy. Because, bro, this is wild. This is wild. But so they start shooting at the guy because the guy tried to get the spear from the, the, the dude's body. Yeah. So they shot him. They killed him. And they're like, yo, what the fuck is this? So then they called him back up. They picked up the guys and Danny died. So he died at the time. They picked him up and they picked the thing that they just killed. And they don't know what this shit is. Like it literally has six fingers on each hand, six fingers on each toe. It is like 10, like 10, 12 feet tall. And it's a human. Like it looks like a human. Red hair, red beard, bro. They bring him back, and they're like, yo, we have to call this in and tell him what happened. And then the government came back to him and was like, nah, you got to change the story up. And it was like, like, nah, you can't, we can't tell the public this. So they was like, all right, we got ambushed. Mm. But what I wanted to ask you was, since you're military, right, do people in the military lie about things like that? Oh, absolutely. They really lie about things like, you think they'll lie about that happening? Yeah. No, really? 100%. I want to put back to the government. Absolutely. The government covers up so much bullshit. It oh, no. Insane. I meant like, as in the people that was in that, um, that, that was saying the story, do you think they will lie about seeing that? Oh, if told so, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, well, but like, depends on like the person, but like if they're told not to do it or like something, <clears throat> there's classifications in the Marine Corps, like if you yeah. have a secret clearance and stuff like that, mm-hmm. they don't have the clearance to know, then they cannot know or else you are getting put in like jail, the equivalent to jail mm-hmm. in the Marine Corps. So like they were basically forced to lie. Probably, yeah. But do you think like that story is true or do you think they made that shit up? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past it to be true because I'm thinking about what the fuck could that possibly be, right? There's That's no what I'm saying, bro. Yetis and cavemen in Afghanistan. <laughs> so, um, first of all, those people are fucking sick. They're gross. They will do anything for sex. Like Who? That, like the Taliban shit. You know what oh, a yeah, boy yeah. is? No, what's that? Nah, it's disgusting. So they have fucking, like, basically little boys designated to get fucked by them. Literally. By who? By the Taliban or like by like the military power over there. I swear to God, they're called tribe boys. They're boys. Absolutely, yeah. What? They're sick. They have. I've heard stories of um from people that have actually went to war and stuff like that. Been over yeah. there. Like they have goats. Like that's not a rumor. No jokes. That is true. They have 
goats. <laughs> Yo, the so, Taliban be wild. <laughs> yeah, they're sick. So I wouldn't put that, like, whatever that thing is, if it is true, to be, like, some fucking... Like creation of incest, to be honest. A creation of a twelve yeah. foot tall being a creation. Yeah, I mean of... you've seen fucking like you've you know all the jokes about Alabama people have like fucking six and web fucking toes and shit like that. Yeah, yeah it's possible to be honest. Genetic yo. mutation through um inbreeding. Yeah. Hey yo, <laughs> nah, I didn't Dude, know about. Sick. Like, I didn't know about that. They be doing <laughs> shit dirty like that, bro. Oh yeah. Goats. Yes. It's like so, the story was actually kind of funny. Dude was talking about you know. Yeah, fire watch, you know, recon shit like that. They have to look out. Yeah. So he's looking through this infrared lens, right? Looking, he sees this dude walking up to the fucking mountains. And um, he's like, oh shit, you know, I need to watch this guy. He's yeah. part of whoever in Afghanistan. He's like, yeah. I need to keep eyeing him because maybe he's setting up an IED, mm-hmm. putting up some bullshit. Literally watches this dude walk to the top of a mountain, find a goat, and fuck it. <laughs> to God, that's what he said, bro. That is crazy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. That's why they've been killing these women, bro. We found out, bro. The Taliban yeah. being gay, bro. Yes, facts. That's why that's they be. Facts. That's why they be. Oh my god, that's yeah. actually sick. What yeah. is that called? Is that what? what's that like having sex with an animal? What's that? Is that like bestiality? A, oh, mm-hmm. that's disgusting, bro. You do that shit for fun, yo. Real life, <laughs> yo. These are sick, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, I gotta yeah. get that image out of my mind. <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, bro. They are there. They're disgusting. Nah, but yeah. See, my thing about this is like I don't th- like I don't know if this could be true, but I just don't think a marine would lie about something this detailed. Mm. Like six fingers on. Like I don't think like the Green Berets. They're the top of the top. Oh yeah. So they do that kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't need to lie about something no. like that. So it's like why why would do that? That that's, is, that's a great point. I don't see why he would lie about that. But the only reason I could say that they would keep it from you is because, like, they they get in huge trouble. Like, mm-hmm. Big, big trouble for that kind of shit. Yo. I need you to... I thought you was going to be in the CIA, bro. I need you to be my <laughs> undercover op. I needed you to be in the CIA. You are Bash, bro. Bash, if you're listening, bro. Sign up right now. For real, Bash. <laughs> we need, for real, Bash. You, you, we need that. You need to hold it down for the gang, bro. I need big some facts. content. Big nah. facts. But what I also wanted to talk about and ask you is... Do you think that people could fake their own death? Yeah. Do you think people have faked their own death? Not that I know, but yeah. I feel you like, mean like if, famous people? Nah, I mean people mm. in general. Okay. Then yeah. The easiest to fake your own death is like if you're in the military. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Low key, say like a guy goes into the military, he has nothing to lose, bro. Mm. Be like he goes into war, fakes his own death, he goes works for the CIA, some shit like that. That's how I feel like most of the people in the CIA are. Mm. I feel like the CIA are people that are ghosts or they're people that have no lives because like if you have no life you can't tell nobody nothing no, yeah. so it's like that's why I feel as though if you can so, fake your own death if supposedly. you're like CIA and like top notch fucking secret level shit yeah it's a lot easier but like for someone like regular in the Marine Corps so if I wanted to fake my own death I'd, let's be real we've talked about this before like me and my boys like we've been out there like so like just starved fucking <laughs> thirsty like just want to go home type shit we're like yo if we just kill ourselves right now because first of all when you join the Marine Corps <laughs> you are worth 400k 400k. If I'm to die, if I was to die or bastards to die while he's in the Marine Corps, whoever I sign up for my um to be a beneficiary, it's yeah. 400k lump sum. Really? Yeah. So like to your parents and stuff like that. Yeah. So like I, you know, you're like, <laughs> yo, let's just fake your own death, fucking kick it in Cuba for a couple months, and then come back, you know, rich with a new identity. Hey yo, he said kick it in Cuba. But um, nah. First of all, leaving. So when I first got to the fleet, I had this roommate. His name is Palmer. Yeah. He was the doc. Um, he left. Like what, the Marines? Mm, well, he went, um, what's it called? UA, unauthorized absence. Yeah. And um, they, they fucking tried everything to find his ass. Every fucking thing. And if you, first of all, if you're at UA, they will yeah. firing squad you. If you okay. are gone for 28 days without authorized absence, they will kill you. Who? The government? Yeah. They gonna kill... Wait, the so... The only person to ever go UA got killed. So... All right, so UA is just like leaving, like you were abandoning. On contract, yeah, you were on contract. They will kill you, bro. Absolutely. Should we say this on the internet? No, oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, honestly, I don't know. But, uh, Yo, hey. yeah. So I've heard. Yeah, the only person that went UA, got caught, was killed. So you know, it's rumors here and there, but it's what I've heard. Yeah. All right, so say I'm in the military, right? I'm like, I'm done with this shit. I just leave and just run away 
if they find me in the month, they can tie me up and shoot me. Mm-mm. If you're gone past 28 days, because I've had, first of all, I've had my room, that one roommate leave. Yeah. He left, came back 20 something days. <laughs> and they, bro, they fucked him half pay. Dude, couldn't leave his room, had to check in mornings, afternoons, every two hours. Really? Didn't matter the time. Yeah. They, they do you dirty. Then I had another dude that worked with me. His name was Oso. Yeah. Um, he tried to leave as well. Got He went all the way back to Cali. The, my roommate was in Hawaii somewhere. This dude went all the way back to Cali. They kicked him out, luckily, because he pled um, that he wanted to kill himself. Oh, So you have okay. to treat that carefully. So he played it smart. So he got out. But. So, wow, but you could really die? So I've heard, yeah. What? So, like, what if you just want to leave? Like, you just tell them that you want to leave. Um, you, like, good you, fucking luck. What, they're just going to say fuck out of you? Oh, yeah. They really? will do everything in their fucking power to keep you there. Wow. Everything. I'm, look, this is speaking on me because, like, you know, when you're in the military, you can't post on social media and stuff yeah. s- saying that you're speaking on the Marine Corps' behalf or saying anything in uniform. So this is me speaking outside of the Marine Corps, my opinion. They're fucked. They're horrible fucking people out there. In the <laughs> I mean that wholeheartedly. Uh, I'll tell you a fucking story. So I'm in comm school. That's when I was in Cali. That's yeah. where my schooling was for mm-hmm. learning all the radio shit. Yeah. I had one, um, a roommate. I lived with three people. Mm-hmm. There was two bunk beds. One dude named Kiernan. Never learned his first name. I didn't talk to him much. He was one of those like nerdy kids. Oh, okay. Read books for fun, shit like that. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> so let's just put it. So I'll tell you the whole story, right? So the all night right. before this whole incident, um, I'm out drinking. Yeah. With my friends. And we're not allowed to drink in that school because, first of all, we're like all underage. And yeah. you're not allowed to purchase alcohol while you're attending that school. Oh, so this was like. Oh, this is like after like basic training, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I remember. So, um, we're drinking whatever. Right? Next day, this guy, he's been sick for a while, Kiernan. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Everybody gets sick because when you join the Marine Corps, you're obviously around a whole new like um group of people from different areas, and different areas carry different bacteria. So it's natural to get sick. Mm. So okay, that makes whatever. Sense. He's sick in the room. Um, it was a Saturday, <clears throat> and um, I'm sleeping on the top bunk, and this kid is fucking groaning. And moaning, talking about, I'm in pain this, I'm in pain that. And I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. Eventually, um, the docs come and get him. And he's in the hospital. So they took him to the hospital. Yeah. Let me mention that he's been to the fucking... Um, where the, is he from again? Cali? I don't know where he was from, but this is where we were. Okay, okay. So he tried to go on base and go to the um, the medical stations around there, telling, like saying that his stomach's been hurting, that like um, He's been hurting and he needs to get checked out. And they're just like, fuck it, change your socks, take an ibuprofen, drink water. <laughs> he said, change your socks. So whatever, Saturday comes, they finally get him out the room. They take him to a real hospital. Yeah. Um, Monday comes around and um, me and my roommates are in class. And again, we were the ones drinking. So they call us and they're like, hey, we need to talk to you. First sergeant needs to talk to you over back at the barracks. And mm-hmm. we're like, fuck, right? We're like, yeah. shit. Like, no way they caught us, right? And then me being me, I'm thinking about everything because I'm anxious all the time. I'm like, <laughs> yo, what if this is even about this? Like, what if he died, right? That's what I'm thinking right now, like shit. And um, obviously we're joking about it. We're like, that'd be, that'd be a fucking relief. He's dead, right? Oh, <laughs> joking. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get there and no shit. They tell us that he's fucking actually dead. He died. He died? I swear to God on my fucking life. This kid died because the Navy medicine refused him help too soon. He had a flesh eating fucking ba- like virus. That killed him. A flesh-eating virus in his body that killed him. And they refused to give him help. Because they didn't believe him. They thought he was just, you know, bitching. Wow. This is why I'm saying the Marine Corps is fucked. Like, they don't care about you to a certain extent. They really don't. What? So why do people go into the Marine Corps? Is it just for the money? Just Um, for the benefits? The the benefits are really good. I must admit, you get health care. Like, free health care? Yeah, saying that, though, this is the type of health care they give you. If you go there and they they don't want to help you, they won't help you. They won't shit. help you. Yeah, I mean, you saw what he did. He tried to go, wow. and they were like, yo, here's ibuprofen, change your socks. You high school kids, if y'all want to go into the Marines, listen to this man, because if you have a flesh-eating disease, they go, <laughs> say, fuck out of here. They just say, fuck out of here. They, really, they realistically <laughs> could. Go to seek actual help if you're in the Marine Corps and need uh, medical attention, or just keep on going back over and over. Fuck them. Bitch, let him complain. Um, <laughs> no, really, because they don't care. My fucking boy, um, my boy Rivera, I love this motherfucker to death, my best friend in the Marine Corps. Has a fucked up knee permanently because the Marine Corps and they never treated it. How do you get a messed up knee? Like he tore his ACL type of shit? Like no, bash? No, no. It's a, it's a dumbass story. Literally, so we PT at 5 o'clock in the morning every day. Every single day, 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. No. Shit, I thought basketball practice was hard, Mm-mm. bro. Shit was ass. <laughs> at, as a boot, it's even worse because you're getting fucked up. Whatever. So um, it was boot year 
and we're doing fireman carries. You know what fireman carries are? Is that when you carry somebody? Yeah, just like this. Like, like John Cena does when he goes for yeah, a special. Yeah, yeah, like that. So we're carrying, we're running with him, and he's with my boy Sosa. And I guess Sosa's about to fall and trip, and he legit <laughs> slams Rivera to the fucking floor on his knee and fucked his shit up, like, till this day. So he has, like, a trick knee type shit, or his yeah. knee? It's oh, that's ass. Up. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Yo, I'll be pissed. See, I got a, I got a letter in the mail talking about some Marine Corps. Mm-mm. I ripped that shit up. Bro. Absolutely, as you These niggas got me I fucked mean, up. That being said, there is good, there's good benefits. Like there's people that you'll meet. Like first of all, those people in the Marine Corps, I would do a lot for them. Like I die for some of them. Like mm. I love them to death. The people that you will meet, hundred percent, are some of the best people you ever meet in your life because mm. you go through so much bullshit with them that just brings you so close together. Makes sense. But the Marine Corps in itself, they don't give a fuck about you. Not with the food. Not with the living conditions. Dang, so you was going through, you was going through it, huh? For a little bit, yeah. It is very shitty when you first got there, yeah. I be just thinking you a bash is complaining. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I could like, (laughs) I could show you pictures of like what one of our like field ops looks like, what our living conditions are, and bro, it it's like a fucking tin can. Like, (laughs) who's gonna make fun of shit? You see these rusted ass tin cans and shit? That's where we was living. I mean, this should look like the fucking this should like the concentration camps. Mm Mm-hmm. They couldn't make nah. And you, that's in Hawaii. You're fucking beautiful, you know. You lived in state. this, bro. Yes, for like a month and a half. This shit is like, this shit is like uh, recycled silos in the farms. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Ten fucking cans, cold as shit. Wow, bro. Yeah. How the hell you play two? Ca- how the hell you play games with us? Oh well, that's that's like when we're in the field. Our barracks are a little bit nicer, granted. Oh, okay. But they have. They, first of all, they've been these barracks. This is barracks called Mackey Hall. The worst. Anybody that's been in the Marine Corps in Hawaii has heard of Mackey Hall. It is. It has been built since like the Marine Corps was fucking founded. It is one of the oldest barracks in the fucking world. Roaches, fucking used condoms in rooms. Like when you move in, used condoms. Who's rat? Pause. 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 Mm. Who is using the condom? Exactly right. Wait. I had, I, my boy moved in there, so you know it's random what barracks you get in Hawaii. My boy moved into his room. There was a used condom on the fucking floor when he moved in. Wait. Isn't isn't it all boys with y'all? <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, you could bring girls to the barracks. It's a little bit hard because of duty and. Oh, okay. I'm about to yeah, say. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah. Not like that. But I wouldn't put it past it. Right? There was gay dudes. There's actually more than you would think. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, yo! Glad you out, bro. Yeah, no. I'm glad too. to have you back, my brother. <laughs> Thank it's you, brother. been glad <laughs> to be here. I'm glad you made it through, bro. Yeah. But what I also want to talk about. You ever heard of this? Um. I I read this on uh, I seen this on TikTok actually. It's called mm. Operation MK Ultra. You ever heard of that? Mm-mm. It's a CIA operation that was in the '60s and '70s that they tried to they tested people, and this is a proven fact that this actually happened. Like they tested mind control on people. That ass. Yes. Like they like they physically tried. Like they had people. They gave them LSD. Like, cause you know how LSD like it makes you trippy. Mm-hmm. So they used LSD as a way to. Like make them trip out, but also they try to control their minds by doing it. Like they they try to see like what they can make them trip about, mm. and they were saying that's why back in the sixties and seventies, like LSD was high mm-hmm. in that time because of that whole operation. Mm. Yeah, and people was taking LSD all the time, and that's where like they was probably just testing it on people. That's how they tested it. They put it into because you know you ever heard like the government be putting drugs into the system. Yeah, that's what they're saying. And they also said that they were trying to control people to be killers. That's why back in the 60s and 70s, there was a lot of serial killers Mm -hmm. that used to go around killing people without wondering why they killed people. That's actually really true, yeah. So that's actually scary to think that the government... Like, this is a... Like, it's a true thing. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy to think that the government is doing some shit like this. No, yeah. Um... That were, when I told you I was looking for conspiracy theories, yeah. a lot of them are, even my teacher in fucking like Lincoln Tech yeah. was talking about that the government put out COVID to de- decrease population. Mm, I, I, I feel like it is. And I honestly, like I'm not one, I'm not politic or anything like that, but like it could be fucking true. Like the, he was saying that the government wanted to have a certain population by a certain time. Mm. So they released a pandemic to decrease population. So, hey, bro, the government could do mind control and all this other nonsense and just never tell us about it. Who knows? Maybe they put a little pandemic. Because honestly, it don't even feel like a pandemic no more. But we still no. in one. Yeah. It's basically normal with masks. Yeah. Like, I hate it, bro. I honestly no, do. No, dude. This fucking pandemic blew my shit like crazy, bro. I know, bro. Yeah. Everything. 
Hawaii got shut down for like fucking months. Couldn't really? Do anything. Couldn't go out to party. Literally, when I turned 21, COVID hit. Uh, I could not do shit. You're supposed to come to Cali with us too, and they hold you. Oh, man. Another reason why I fucking hate the Marine Corps. They screwed me because I refused to get a COVID shot for a little bit. And really? They would not let me go home. Yeah, they would not let me go home. Because you, wait, to get like the vaccine? Do yeah, you, do you have the vaccine? People off for it. I do now. Oh, okay. I did it after that incident because I was fucking pissed. I was mad as shit. I mean, as you can tell, yeah, I want to yeah. go to Cali. Um, I know, bro. They're kicking people out now. They're mandating it. Mm-hmm. They're making it a COVID shot. Like you, you heard about what's happening with Kyrie, right? Yeah, dude, that is honestly ridiculous. When we was talking about before, like I wasn't like really minding, but now I actually feel bad. No, yeah, as you, I mean, because think about it like this, right? Let's say COVID happened when um, Michael Jordan was in the league, mm-hmm. and he. Didn't have his vaccine. Is he not one of the fucking great? Is he not the greatest of all time because he doesn't have like a shot? Exactly. Insane. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, Bradley Beal is not vaccinated, but he still could play in New York. Really? Yeah, like he's literally playing in the league right now. Mm. But they won't let Kyrie play because he's Kyrie. That's so like like uh, Kyrie's a weird dude, but I can understand, bro. Yeah. But I don't know. Like I don't know what's gonna happen to him. Honestly, he might be on some. Might be like Colin Kaepernick at this point. <laughs> That's literally what it is. That's wild. He's Colin Kaepernick of the NBA, and I feel bad. Like he doesn't deserve this. Like I mean, he's standing his ground though, which is, is respectable. That's good. Absolutely. Like you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be forced to take something that you don't want to. Nah. Especially in America, bro. Like, yeah. Land of the fucking free. Land bro. of the free, bro. Land of the free, my fucking ass. Bro. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. But going back to people faking their own deaths, right? Yeah. You know one person that I believe. Really faked their own death. Who? Michael Jackson. Why? All right. Let me tell you. Let yeah. me let me tell you, right? So, out of every... Think about it, right? What I learned about Michael Jackson was that I heard he used to go out in disguises a lot. Because mm. think about it. He's Michael Jackson. He yeah. literally can't leave the house. No. If anybody in this world would want to want to fake their own death just to be a normal human being, I think it would be Michael Jackson. Like, so... I I seen this on TikTok too. So the story goes, there was a guy. I don't think this is Michael Jackson, but his name is Dave Dave, and he's like Dave Dave. Dave yes. So they're interviewing him. He's like, oh, this is a one of a friend of Michael Jackson named Dave Dave. So he's like, he looked like you ever seen when people come out of like they survive a fire, how their skin yeah, looks? Yeah, all fucked up. Yeah, that's how he looked. Mm. So and the one coincidence is that um, Michael Jackson had burns. From a fire. Yeah, from Pepsi commercial. Yeah. yeah, so he had a fire. So that's what they're talking about. So Dave Dave looked like he's been through a fire. But like the way he sounds, he sounds like Michael Jackson. He has that little high-pitched voice. Mm. And so they're talking to him, right? And then the TikTok goes, they go to Akon. And Akon's telling a story about how Michael Jackson used to wear disguises when they used to go to the movies and shit like that. And then he used to forget like, oh, I'm talking to Michael Jackson. I can't be saying Mike. Yeah. And then a little girl was hearing him and starting like figuring out that like, oh, this might be Mike. Michael Jackson, but he was like, nah, I had to start calling him Dave. Mm. Like, mm. Dave, Dave. And then they start showing pictures of Michael Jackson in disguise and shit like that. And, like, you can't tell it's him. Yeah. So what I'm basically saying is, if anybody in this world that's famous enough or would want to, like, he freaking turned from dark skin to light skin. That's true. He's a weird guy. He <laughs> knows jobs and all Knows that. jobs. Named his child Blanket first and foremost. I don't know. Yo, he's a weird dude. Yeah. So I... <laughs> he named his child Blanket. Bro. Yeah. So out of everybody in this world, I wouldn't be surprised if he's, he's like, you know what? I got all this money. And plus, you know how magicians are, like, with their magic tricks. It's all about misdirection. Yeah. What if, like, he just misdirected everybody and he's just running in Cuba? Um... I don't I don't watch his funeral, but it was a close casket, guys. I think it was a close casket. So that's what I'm saying. It's like you could if you have enough money, resources, and like power, you can fake your own death. No, yeah. Like that's, that's wild. That's fucking crazy. I wouldn't even thought about that. Like people say Tupac faked his own death. Like I don't see Tupac having a reason to fake his own death. Mm. Cause I mean, he I feel like he was living a good life. Oh yeah. So, like, why would he? Michael Jackson looked like he was depressed. No, yeah. Cause, I mean, first of all, they've been beating him up since the day he fucking came into the world. Exactly. So, yeah, I wouldn't blame him. Like, literally, from a kid. What, how old was he when he was in the Jackson 5? 13? 11? Yeah, he was very young. Very, he was, like, very young. 11 years old. Famous. Yeah. Like, that could take a toll on your mind, bro. Literally leading up, he said, oh, okay, he just died of an overdose. Mm. What do you mean, died of an overdose? Yeah, that like, true. that's what they all say, bro. Like, come on, bro. Michael Jackson, if you out there, bro, pull up, to the, pull up to the crib, bro. Please come back. <laughs> I need some good music, bro. 
<laughs> Chill, we got some good music, bro. Do we? Cardi. What? You don't like Playboy Cardi? It's a bop. All right, it's like a. It's it's it's, it's, like it's hard. I can't. What is he saying? And I'm gonna get so much hate for it. What the fuck is Cardi saying? I can't like it. I can't. Like, what is? I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Nah, Cardi. Like, prime Cardi was like 2017 when we were seniors at high school. That was 17, 18. That was prime. But he's been getting weird too. Not gonna lie, he's mm. been getting very weird. They say he's a reincarnation of Tupac. I talked about that no, with Fritz, bro. No, no, no. What the fuck? That's disrespectful to Tupac. What do they mean by that? The reason being is because... I talked about this with Fritz, but the reason being is because Tupac died on Playboy Cardi's, uh, Playboy Cardi's uh, birthday. Mm. And the way Tupac died, he got shot in the mouth, and Playboy Cardi got a birthmark on the side of his mouth. Mm. So, I don't know, but... Yeah. Honestly, nah. They even make... I don't know, bro. It's... They be, their music is 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 all right. It's like oh, it's like I, can't. I cannot like you can't be saying like that's good lyrically. No, absolutely not. Like n- no fucking way. <laughs> like I don't know what he's saying. You literally can't. So what what type of music you like? Uh, it's gonna sound cliche, but I literally, I mean, you know, I listen to everything. Like, yeah. Oh, I do too. From like country death metal. Yo, opera, death metal. R&B. You got you oh, lost yeah. me. Yeah. But know, country but music. Yes. It's just kind of heat, bro. <laughs> Wait, who you be listening to? Um. Kenny Chesney, I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't know my name, but like the Marine Corps, like those people, the white dudes from Texas and stuff, really put me on. Like, there's some good <laughs> shit out there. Like, Yo, you ever heard like Dan and Shay? I think that's what their name is. Mm-hmm. Nah. I probably heard a song, but I don't know them. Like, Jay put me name. on country music because she went to school in Baltimore and she had a friend from Tennessee mm-hmm. that was on her softball team. And all she did is play country. And she brought that junk back to Jersey. I'm like, you know this? It's honestly, it's honestly R&B music with white people. Not no, gonna facts. lie. It's not that Count bad. And valid. Give country music a chance, people. Facts. You don't, really should. Like, don't hate on country music. Just try it. It's really? not that bad. Really? So you don't have, like, no favorite artists? Because I don't either. I just like mm-hmm. whatever. No, nah, I couldn't specify. Because, like, I'm telling you right now, it all depends on how I'm feeling. Like, when I drive, it could be fucking from screaming to some R&B to some all opera. Right, you're some... on some... I can't, I, can't, I can't vibe with you with the... The death metal, bro. Hey, bro. Shit, getting you pumped. It's like gym music. Like when I did go to the gym, no, you can't tell. But you know, <laughs> um, when I did, that's what I listened to. Like, shit gets me pumped. Like, 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 what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, like I nah. want to fight somebody type yeah. shit. Like. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Yeah. Nah, remember that one song, bro, in high school? I'm from. Please save me from who I am. If he's saving for what I do, we don't talk about that, man. <laughs> That's not correlated to a good memory. <laughs> that I can't, cause all I wanna be is true. That's the it's heat. Some, it is some heat, bro, but it's linked to a bad memory. Um, I understand, bro. Fuck her, first and foremost. <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> all right, before we get, all right, mm. I, have, I have to ask you something. It's a, it's a weird world we live in, bro. Mm-hmm. For sure. I really believe that a lot of this world is like. Either lied, we've either been lied to, or it's just like fake. No, yeah, I hundred percent believe that they like only show us what they want us to see. Facts, bro. Oh yeah, I be telling people this all the time, bro. Like, if I had a school, like literally, they teach us what what they want to teach us, bro. Oh yeah, like the history books, like um, for example, in Germany when Hitler was popular and stuff like that. Yeah. In um, in kids' books, they'd put him as the prince. Like Hitler would be the prince, so that people would you know look up to like the princes, like they do. In- really, and it was Hitler. Yeah. That's and they look up to him like, damn, he's so cool. Like he always gets the girl, and he's the good guy. He saves the girl. Mm. Exactly. People in Germany probably think Hitler was like Jesus. No, yeah. Hey, bro. Let's see, bro. Do you have any conspiracies that you believe in or you think about? Um, like anything weird. I don't know if it's a conspiracy so much, but um, recently, in my, for example, for gaming and stuff like that. Yeah. I just feel like I don't know if it's because I'm older. Um, that I don't enjoy it as much, but I feel like this stuff isn't as fun as it used to be. Was it because mm. I was a kid, or is this shit not as fun as like they made it before? I don't know. I'd be thinking about like two K, like two K, bro. I swear, like when like the earlier two Ks is always more fun. That's what I'm saying. Than now, but I think honestly, I feel like it's just like you're, cause like we're kids and like the our yeah. situation, like we was in like when we were in high school and shit like that. We don't really have like. Stuff to do other than play games, so we, that's what we used to look forward to. That is true. But now yeah. we we're adults and have to we get to do whatever the hell we want nowadays. That is true. But that is, uh, I mean, that's what like not just gaming, like everything. Like just some things aren't as good as they used to be. I don't know if it's because I'm older or like this stuff isn't made the same. Honestly, it might be a little bit of both. Mm. I feel like. 
Because, like, you know how people be saying, like, 2K17 is better, the best 2K in the world? Yeah. But it's like, if somebody somebody going to say 2K22 is the best because, yeah. like, that's their first 2K. Mm-hmm. And they're, like, 12. That is true. So, I don't know. I feel like it's just over time. It's just going to dwell like that, bro. Mm-hmm. But dang, bro. I miss those days. No, I really do. I don't want to say it's the best days I'll ever have because there's better to come. But, like, damn, it was a great time. What is, What was your favorite video games that you used to play? Uh, I know you used to play a lot. I didn't play as much as you did. I think Overwatch is really cool. I mean, COD, like Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2. If y'all don't know, Jason used to yell at me all the time when we used to play video That's games. That's not true. I was really nice too. I was supportive. Tried he, used to to make to play. F- he used to make fun of me when we nah, played no Fortnite. Way. But um, not growing up, Staples were like Left 4 Dead, Call okay, of Duty, Black Ops 2. Um, Overwatch was fun for a bit. Yeah, Xbox or did you always have I was an Xbox kid up until PS5. You looked like an Xbox kid. Dang, what does that mean? Hey, Jason used to have gauges. That's not true. <laughs> That's not even true. Look, my ears aren't even big. It's I'm going to go find the picture. Good he, luck. He was one of those kids. Good luck. Jason was one of those kids that used to want to do parkour and jump off of buildings. That shit's still cool, bro. Don't let him lie to you. Parkour is still cool. Keep on doing your thing. I always want to do parkour. I'm not going to lie. No, nah, it's very dope. It's fun. Like, I wouldn't say it's dope, but it's fun. Did you, do you still be going to those little gymnastic things? No, because I used to go. I don't know if you, I don't know if you uh, ever really met him or know him like that. You know John? Yeah. The Brazilian kid, white, tall. Mm-hmm. Um, I know John. No, yeah. I know John since like third grade, mm-hmm. low-key. Oh, really? Yeah, I know him and Ja'Kai and Kevin. We always used to be in the mm-hmm. Boys and Girls Club. Well, no, yeah. Um, John's like super fucking good. He's really good. He, I used to go with him. But now that he's in Colorado, I just I don't do that anymore. What's he in Colorado for? Uh, he just wanted to move out on his own. Oh, word? That's tough. Mm-hmm. Colorado. I always wanted to go to Colorado. It's beautiful out there. Like Denver. Yeah. Mm. But you ever seen those like those little free for uh free running videos where they start running and jumping over buildings? Oh yeah. I'm I would never, bro. <laughs> those dudes don't care about life. I refuse to believe they care about life. Yo, do you see them shit? Then it's just literally clearing like gaps of like over a hundred feet. They actually and they you ever seen they be climbing on like cables and shit like that? Oh yeah. Like they was, got me, yo. There was a video of this dude on like a crane, like those big like skyscraper cranes, just holding on with one hand. He must just trust himself or like, but nah, bro. Do you think anybody ever died doing that? Oh, absolutely. There's, uh, you know, like the tightrope and ch- or the yeah, tightrope walks that they yeah. like, put on TV and stuff like that. There's someone that died while I was live. I mean, they cut it. You couldn't see it, but yeah. He literally fell? Yeah. Oh. Nah, that's crazy. Something that people would do for content is wild. I can't do that, bro. Like that, like that, like I got anxiety too. Oh, I can't, yeah. yo. Like the guy that you, you see the guy that walked across Grand Canyon mm-hmm. on a tightrope. I, yeah. I would never, bro. Him. What's that guy named David Blaine? David Blaine's fucking wild too. Yo, he used to freaking uh, bury himself alive for like a week. Mm-hmm. Put he, himself in water for like three days. How the fuck? And he held his breath, right? No. Nah, well, some. Yeah. I think actually no. It wasn't like three days. It was a long ass time where he held his breath underwater. That's crazy, bro. Like, just think... Like, you gotta be mentally messed up in the head to do something like that. Well, that or... There's adrenaline junkies out there, bro. People live to be put in life or death situations. <sighs> like, it gets them going. That's their hobby. Like, they love it. You think you think people get high off of that? Like, that's their high? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Nah, it's fucking know. sick. That shit is sick. I mean... Like, those little freaking uh, no-harness climbers? Yeah. I seen a video of that. Somebody climbing a building with no harness. It got me fucked up, Mm-mm. bro. One mistake and you're fucked. Mm-mm. One. W- literally one, bro. One mistake. One slip. And that's your life. Like, right you got to be so focused. Mm-hmm. Like, I got... I can't do that, nah. bro. <laughs> no Hell way. no. Nah. I can't, bro. But parkour, I used to want to try to do parkour. Because back in the day before basketball, I used to want to be like a... Um, I used to want to be in the X Games. Really? Yeah, like BMX. I don't know why. That's a dope, that's a dope dream, though. I wanted that's to. good, yeah. And like, because I used to think it was so cool. I used to watch um, MTV... All the time. You remember uh, Rob Dyrdek's Fancy oh, Factory yeah. and Robin oh, yeah. Big? I used to, oh, I used, I used to, to love, love that fucking show. I met R.I.P. Big, bro. For real. Big R. Black, R. bro. Oh, my gosh. Bro. That was my guy. I used to I used to want to be just like Rob Dyrdek. But I remember sixth grade, we had a, we wrote letters to our fam- our uh, famous favorite celebrity, and I wrote mm. one to him. No, yeah. He's, he's super fucking... He was literally every kid's dream. He had a fucking Fantasy Factory with mm. basketball, foam pit, ramps. Go-karts, yeah. bro. Like, that was that was a show, bro. If y'all haven't watched Rob Dyrdek's Fantasy Factory, go watch it on Prime Video, bro. Do something. Like, really you, good. Really good, bro. Like, I, oh my God. Like, And then, I remember I used to watch... You ever watched... Um, There was a show on MTV. It was, like, about crashes. Like, people that bailed out and they do their tricks and they break oh, their arms, like, fractured. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. No, it was, um... 
Damn, I can't remember. I know exactly. What it was like about before that, yeah. ridiculousness. Yeah. But it was way. It was so disgusting. Yeah, they showed the bones breaking. Yes. What was it called? I can't remember. It was like. Hold on, let me see. Scarred. Scarred. Yeah, I was trying to look up scare, and I saw. I woke. Uh, looking up scarred. That's there what it was. There you go. Yeah. That's what it's called. Bro, I remember. I seen some dude. He went on a. He was rollerblading, and like you know them little twisty stairs. Mm -hmm. He was going down one, and he fell right on his arm. Snap. I had I, I watched like five episodes. I was done, bro. No, nah, yeah, I can't. Like when uh the whole Kevin Ware thing happened. Oh, his with his knee. leg, bro. Oh, oh. Fucking god, bro. I can't. I'm I, like. I was in the Marine Corps and I was like, you know, expected to see that kind of stuff. I'm squeamish for it. I can't. I don't think I could actually see that shit in real life. Like, you know, my my parents remind me this all the time. You know, how I broke a kid leg like that. Are you serious? Yeah, in a basketball game. In a first of all, how do you break someone's leg in basketball? I, it was not my fault. It's not supposed to be a contact sport. Isn't the, it is a contact sport, but it's, shit, you should watch our practice, my nigga. <laughs> you think they be think we play football in that bitch, bro? <laughs> Coach Log, if you watching, bro, stop stop doing that war rebounding shit. <laughs> war. You know how many people we got. Uh, you know how many people on our team got sprained ankles? For real? Yes. Mm. Literally a new ankle every day, bro. But anyways, so we was playing Westfield, and I think I was playing JV, and I went to go take a charge on some kid, and he jumped, and I took the charge, so I mm. fell. And I guess, like, he land I landed on his leg, and it snapped. Oof. And then I'm just like, I'm I'm getting up, and mm. I just hear screaming. I didn't see the leg, yeah. so because like everybody's just moving me around, so I don't know what's going on. But I just hear everybody going like, "Oh!" Mm. I'm like, "Oh, did I do that?" I felt so bad, bro. Like they had to call the ambulance, mm. and they had to get the little the what's it called the um, had to get him out on a stretcher. Oof. And what's crazy is we played Westfield again at Westfield, and I rolled my ankle, and everybody, <laughs> <That's karma. laughs> everybody in the in the stands is laughing at me because I was screaming like my leg fell off. <laughs> Cause no, that shit ain't no joke. Sprained ankles fucking hurt. That's what I'm saying. Yo, real. like the side of my ankle touched the ground, bro. Yeah. And I thought my like I, my dad ran on the court. I was like, Dad, my ankle off. He's like, Nah, you good, bro. Stop crying. <laughs> I'm like, Oh shit, my fault. Nah, that shit is painful. So. Yo, but they dad was laughing. I was like, Dang. <laughs> but those were the days, bro. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Jason was one of those weird kids that used to love parkour. He used to do flips around the school. I didn't do it in school. That's he used to do flips for five dollars. <laughs> Fuck, I wish. Jason used to make the special ed kids fight in the bathroom. That's not true. But <laughs> um, shout out to them. They're it's gonna sound fucked up. They're good content. I must oh. nah bro. Cause he wasn't I don't think he's special ed. This kid named Pat. You ever seen him on my Snapchat? I don't know if you have my Snapchat, but they were senior year. Nah, that I kid didn't. in Woodshop. Oh was he did he have like long black hair? Nah. That's not the one that Paulie used to post all the time, right? Nah, that kid What's his name again? Didn't they put him in a trash can? No, that was um was that him? What was his name? I don't know. No, that wasn't. Oh, I think it was him. Justin put him in a trash can. I felt bad, bro. <laughs> that shit's so funny, bro. He tried to get out and it fell over. Bro. I know. I felt bad, bro. That shit's horrible, but it's funny. There, there's a there's a kid, like, he's like a little, like, he be coming around, like, when we go to Curryville, mm -hmm. and if he sees a girl, he just runs. Like, he, like I don't know how he know. He, like, he, it's like he has an uh, alarm. Like, when I brought, <laughs> when me and Jay were there, I'm like, Jay, there's a, if you, like, Sometimes as a boy comes around, he's yeah. like a little, so like just say what's up to him, like give him a handshake, whatever. So I'm like, I didn't think he was gonna come. Literally, five minutes later, running around the block, he's like, <laughs> he's like, hi, how you doing? I'm like, I'm like, okay, just say hi, and he's just gonna go run yeah. away. Did you um, did you hear recently? What? And you and um, my sister goes there, so I heard. Oh, um, you have a sister? Yeah. A younger sister? Yeah, she's a half sister. Oh, okay. But um, recently not. So there's this kid beating, <laughs> beating. His in the bathroom in high school and I guess some senior somebody saw it and they were clowning him and then recorded it posted it online and obviously you know they found it so now I think he's getting in trouble for child porn and then the kid who um was got, doing it yeah was doing it called into the school or something and, like threatened to shoot it so that they had to shut down the school the other day when was this this was recently oh yeah like um maybe like a week and a half ago yeah what why did my sister tell me that that's mm -hmm. crazy. He's threatening to shoot it up. Something like that. Yeah, there's a there's a school like a shooting threat or something. Some sort of threat. To you the and school. high school been going off the chain ever since we left. Remember? That's did nice. you did you hear about the riot Tony started, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Tony's a f yo. Let me tell you how this, bro. Shout to out Tony. Shout bro. out you, Tony, bro. <laughs> Do you know the whole story? No. So this is what happened, right? So supposedly, so it's Tony and his girlfriend. I guess his girlfriend was fighting somebody, mm -hmm. and they got it. Tony got into it with the girl, and then. Uh, the girlfriend's boyfriend was 
was gonna go get Tony. So mm-hmm. he got and he was on the football team. So he got his boys to come mm-hmm. to join. I didn't, bro. This whole time, I didn't think it was Tony, bro. Yeah. Like my sister's telling me, my sister was in the school scared as hell because yeah. they thought some their family came in with guns, shooting it up with machetes. Ooh. That's what I heard. I heard. The fuck? I heard a family came into a uh, union with machetes and just running through the hallways. <laughs> That's all I heard. That sounds bro. crazy, bro. And so this whole time. So I guess they came to Jordan's so I was looking for Tony mm. and he wasn't there. So then they was like, all right, we're going to see him. And then I guess one of Tony's friends was like, nah, you're not going to touch Tony. Word. Came in with a hammer, swinging that shit. That's why you see the you picture of Ron. Ass. You ever seen that picture of Ron trying to hold the kid back because he got a hammer? Yeah. Yes, bro. He tried to beat him with a hammer. Yeah. That's, I think that's literally all that happened. That's crazy, though. But the story I heard, bro, like that day they said it was like, a family like some kid was getting bullied. He's like, right, I'm gonna get my family. I'm thinking gang members came yeah. in, guns, machetes, yeah. running throughout the C wing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I forgot the wings, bro. C wing, yeah. A. Where we used to be in the morning? Were you with us in the morning? Um, in we the morning, like upstairs. Remember that little corny we used to be at? We used to be mad loud, and the yeah. teacher used to tell us, the art teacher yeah. used to tell us to leave. Yeah, remember the I think the worst thing that we had was remember when we had the um, the acid spill. Yeah, Mr. P, bro. Oh, he spilled acid on himself, and the whole hot, the whole, <laughs> Chill. every the whole thing upstairs smelled like eggs. That shit was lit though. We got to leave school early, and we was on the news. Really? Yeah, it was the I think Channel Eight came something, That's lit. and like the helicopters came. That was the only big thing that happened to us. But and that one page that had like the little fight compilation. I've never heard of it. It was like <laughs> they had uh they had like all the fights within the year, and they put it on Twitter. That's lit. And they had and they had like a song like. It was like some white song, like some pop music in the background. That's lit. That junk had me crying. Yeah, some of the fights were lit though, bro. Like um, Mr. Melody. Um, I heard Mr. Melody threw somebody. Yes, that's what I'm talking the... about. He fucking slammed him like crazy. Like I heard he threw somebody over the, the lockers like <laughs> Superman. Like he just grabbed him and said, Shoo. "Yeah, I'd believe it." He was big. I, I, he looked like Superman. That's a big old dude. Yeah. I heard some of the teachers used to be freaking trying to talk to the students. Oh, yeah. No, um, I've heard about Miss Darby, the gym teacher. Oh, Doobie. Doobie, that was her name. Yeah. I've heard about her, I think, flirting or something like that. I heard there's a lot of weird... They be Them teachers be plotting until they graduate. That's very strange. That's right? very That's weird. fucking weird. Remember, Miss, you ever heard the thing of Mr. Melody, bro? The the gym Which teacher one? Melody. Mm-mm. I guess he's, he was sending shit to girls, and then he Pretty actually got caught. graduated. I, I don't know. I don't I know. There was a so, picture bro. of him Whoa. like in a towel. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? That's horrible. This is the this is the wor- I don't know. Yeah, bro. It's the world that we fucking the live. world that we live in is really sad. Disgusting. Uh, but this is a a fun subject I like to go into mm. on this channel. It's called Pick a Side, bro. So I got I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you to know. Mm. I know you watch the other episodes, and the questions get a little weird. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie. All right. All right. So would you rather? So say you're getting chased by something, bro. Okay. Would you rather swim across a hundred fifteen foot like like hundred fifty feet of like a river like across that's infested with crocodiles Oof. or run <laughs> or run across a hundred yard field of landmines? I think the landmines. You taking the landmines? Bro, okay, so I have a weird fear of um it's called subnegomophobia. It's anything that's like man made in water. So like water that I can't see through. If I imagine that there's something like man made, like a an abandoned car, or like or like an animatronic, I would. Yeah, I, I think I'd have a heart attack. Like you know the Jaws ride in Universal. Yeah. If I fell in that water, I legit think I'd have a heart attack and Wait, explode. Wait, what's what's the thing called? Submechanophobia. Submechanophobia. Yeah. So, isn't that remember when we went to Wildwood and you was afraid of that all animatrons? Yeah. So you was so that's part of it. Yeah. So. But, like, there's only crocodiles in there. It doesn't matter. Like, it, it, my own mind would eat me up in a body of water that I can't see through. And first of all, have you seen crocodiles fucking move? Yes. In water and on land? Yes. They could fucking move. I know, bro. But I don't, like, landmines, you know, one step, it might, your first step might be over for you. Like I, feel like, I feel like there's more I can do on the landmine field than I can in the water. Like, so. I, that's more of trusting myself. So, like, what's your, what's your fear that you're saying? So, like, saying, like, open ocean. I, see, I can go in the ocean because, like, I don't think, like, well, I don't go too far out, but I don't think there's anything, like, man-made under there. So, I'm so it's really only weird. it's only man-made things? Yeah, man-made structures. Like, so let's say, um... Where did you find this out at? And why... Did you diagnose yourself? I mean, I guess so. I mean, you can't really... <laughs> so, I mean, it's not making a, I mean, phobia in general is a fear that you can't explain. Yeah, yeah. And even, like, the pictures, they make my fucking skin crawl. Like, so if you like, look up, there's a whole subreddit for it, YouTube videos. Like, it's a, it's a thing. Yeah, it's so, a like, thing. so say there's a 
a sunken car. Yeah, it freaks me out. It freaks you out. Why, Absolutely. though? It can't I, get you. I couldn't tell you. I literally could not. Like, animatronics, they're not real. They realistically <laughs> can't attack me. But, it, dude, it, I, that is my biggest fear, easily. What? Yeah. I mean, I knew that before, but, like, I didn't think about the car. I can understand animatronics because they're kind of creepy. Like, if you go to, like, a haunted mm-hmm. house, a haunted maze, oh, you would die in a, in a haunted house. I've never been. You would die. Yeah. Yo, you would. <laughs> I remember yeah. me, Jay, Fritz, and UJ, and Ivy went to a haunted house. And um, I forgot where it was. I think it was Bloomfield. That joint was scary as hell, bro. Really? It was. I mean, <clears throat> it wasn't that scary to me because like I didn't realize this is the same haunted house I went to with Ish and them. Uh, so I'm like, oh fuck, I already seen this. Mm-hmm. But like at the end, it was like a bunch of clowns, like it clowns, and like they were like, like robots. But oh, you didn't yeah. know which one was a real oh, person. That's so we're that's walking kinda... through, yeah. and I'm like, all right, we good. And then you just hear like footsteps walking behind you. <laughs> I'm like, oh hell no, nah, bro. That's kind of lit. But, nah, I didn't even know that's a thing. No, yeah, I didn't either. I mean, well, I knew I was scared of that kind of stuff. So, were you scared since you was, like, a kid? And Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just, I mean, I didn't know what it was called. I couldn't explain it. And then, like, recently, like, probably, like, a year and a half ago, or maybe two years, I figured out, like, what the actual name for it was. Wow, because I remember you used to tell me about that, like, when we went to that uh, mini golf place yeah, in Wildwood. Yeah, it freaks me the fuck out. So, like, what was your first, like, experience with that? Do you remember at all? Or, like... The earliest one. Um. Okay. So. Um. Fuck. I can't remember what the ride name was. I went to Universal as a kid, and there's a ride. It was like simulating the end of the world. I can't remember what it was called, but it's basically like if the world was ending and there's like water everywhere and falling. Was it like those little um animation ride thingies? Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 It's like one of those. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. We're like sitting on like a tram car. Oh. And you oh. Through. And you're going. Oh. Okay. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking so about. So it was that, and also actually now that I think about it. Whatever ride came first freaked me out the most. It was um the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yeah. And there's animatronics everywhere, and you're in water. Like, it's like a water ride. Like, it's like a boat. Yeah. Yeah. And you're very close to the water, and I can't. Dude, it freaked me out so goddamn bad as a kid, bro. It's horrible. <coughs> Are you... Dang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's new. So, you would not go... Even... If, so, you would not go just because of the crocodiles, just because the thought of you can't yeah. see what's in the water. Plus, I mean... Dude, those things move. I feel like I could go through the crocodile. I know they move, but like those things move. I think like I don't landmines. It, I'm I get I think I have bash luck too. <laughs> if y'all know what bash luck is, shout it's like out bash. shout out bash. It's like it's bad luck, but bash has all the bad luck, so we True. call it bash luck. True. Bash has some dark days, bro. Bash, we'll talk about when you're on the show. Those facts. Don't worry. But <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna take two steps. Boom. <laughs> like I need like some rocks just to true, throw out there. That is true. That's what I was thinking. But I'm like, uh, it's like a football field full of yeah. landmines. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm taking the crocodiles, bro. I'm sorry. Have I'm, you seen what crocodiles like have done to yes, animals? I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the, I've seen the little baby deers and no, yeah. and elks. First of all, they've attacked each other. There's this video at the zoo of basically a crocodile biting down another one's arm and just twisting yeah. it right off. Did you ever see that one? It was like an alligator, and it was like a. It was like a family event, and like the trainer was like feeding the crocodile. Oh, and bites his arm. And bites his hand. Bites yeah. the lady's hand, and like she's trying to get it out, and she starts rolling, and she had to jump in so she don't he don't break her arm mm-hmm. off. And the kids is watching this happen. I was yeah. like, oh my! I feel like they had to shoot that thing right yeah. then and there. That uh, thing had to die. Yeah, no. Uh-oh, They're dangerous bro. fucking things. Very dangerous. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> but oh, I got another question, bro. Would you rather be able to, like, would you rather lose? Your ability to read or your ability to speak? Damn. That's uh, hard. Because, like, if you can't read, like, you can't do nothing. Right? I mean, you literally can only learn something through word of mouth. Literally. Mm. But I run my mouth a lot. Like, I gotta <laughs> talk, bro. I be talking all day, bro. But reading's very important. Um, I think... Because, uh, I, I mean, if you can't read, think about, like, stuff like warning signs and... Exactly. Regulations and places. You literally can't function without reading. You don't know. That's crazy. (laughs) Like, I never thought, like, you cannot, you can't read, like, you can't read instructions. You can't be able to function. No. Without, like, having, like, isn't Mayweather something? Isn't that the guy who can't read? (laughs) I think he can read, but I think they just make fun of him because he stutters. (laughs) Like, he he just, like, fumbles his words a little bit. Like, like, you know, people can't read out loud. Yeah. He's like that. He he could definitely read. (laughs) Yeah, I think he's saying he can't read, bro. Cause like he was reading something, he was just like stuttering. I guess he was just a little <laughs> nervous. But what what do you think you'll do? Um, I think I go with talking because not being able to speak, it's so hard to portray what you really like are feeling without being able to speak. Mm. 
Oh, I mean, you could write, but that's hella work. Yeah. You know, like Stephen Hawking. Shit. Stephen Hawking, or you could do sign language. Yeah, but that's mad work. But it's like, you can either learn, be, I think I'll, I feel like I'll, 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 I think I'll pick the ability to read, bro. Really? Like, I will lose that. Like, I need to, I need to talk. I'll be, I'll be too frustrated. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna keep writing down everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'll figure out a way to live my life. Yeah, no. Like, just show me pictures. True. Just give but me. Even though, like, I was just thinking about it, like, right now. Like, if you're trying to learn something online, you can't learn it. You'd have to watch a video, and if they're not, like, exactly showing you what to do, you'll have no idea. Like, instructions and building a shelf, like, you won't know anymore. Like, you can't do shit. You literally, it's either you can't do nothing, or you can't portray anything. Yeah, you can't like, you can't express yourself. yourself. No, yeah, <laughs> no, I think I need, I, need to, I need to speak, bro. Nah, yeah. I need to speak. Oh, my gosh. And then... I think this is, this is the last one I got. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather be a normal person now or be a king, twenty five, a king of a, a kingdom, 200, 2,500 years ago, like just rule a kingdom? So, on the surface, being a king sounds great, but you got to think about like stories like Macbeth, bro. They're plotting to kill the king every other fucking second, bro. <laughs> Niggas are plotting like, oh yeah, I'm about to get this nigga so I can be the king. Yeah, like, like freaking that. uh Caesar. Oh, was it Julius Caesar? Yeah, they tried to kill him all. Got they, his ass. They got him, bro. Yeah. Like, especially back then, bro. Like, there's no technology. You don't know what they're doing. They're doing incest. Mm-hmm. They're doing a bunch of crazy stuff back then. Oh, yeah. Diseases everywhere. Like, I don't, I wouldn't want to be a king, bro. Then on the flip hand, I mean, kings literally had all the power. Literally. Like, they were like, you don't believe in uh, Catholicism? Dead. Kill them. <laughs> you, you don't want to kiss my feet right now? All right, get out of here. You're dead. A jester <laughs> fucked up while juggling? Thoughts him out of here. Nah, they really used to kill people for fun. Oh, yeah. Like, freaking Genghis Khan. Oh, dude, that guy's sick. He is a sick fuck. He created, um, what's it you called? Uh, the Rack? No. What the hell is The Rack? I think, no, I think I'm wrong. It's whatever one where they tie you to horses. Oh, it made you run? Yeah, like the it different made them dire- run in different directions. And Who thinks of that stuff? Niggas like Genghis Khan. Yo. Warlords. He was sick though. He's a, he's a fucking, he's a monster. I think he's the, the one emperor or conqueror that killed the most people. Yeah. I think he's up there. Same with Vlad the Impaler. He was a sick fuck. Who's that guy? He, um... They call him like a vampire. He kind of looked like a vampire. Mm-hmm. Vlad the Imperator. He killed a fuck ton of people. For what? Like, what, what was he an uh, empire emperor or something like that? Yeah, some shit. I think he was trying to take over countries and stuff like that. Like it was a, a while, like way, way back. Yeah. Napoleon's pretty good too. Mm. That's crazy, bro. Nah, I, I don't think I'll be able to do none of that junk, bro. Nah, I couldn't be a king. I don't think I'm fit for king anyways. I'd be getting nervous. I don't even know what to eat, <laughs> fucking, what to wear, the school and shit. <laughs> Yo, he said I'll be getting nervous. Word, I couldn't make a big decision. Shit. <laughs> Cause you couldn't make a big decision. Mm-mm. <laughs> Yo, that's funny, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. But I think I let me talk. I want to talk about this one thing since we're talking mm. about back in the days, bro. Did you yeah. ever hear the theory? Right now, what we're living in is a post-apocalyptic mm. era. Cause think about this, bro. Mm-hmm. We have, like, you see, like, all these big structures, like pyramids, yeah. these big buildings. We cannot create those things now. No. With the technology that we have, like, the pyramids are made out of uh, limestone and, like, it's, like, rocks made of, I forgot what the rock's material is, mm. but it's covered in limestone. And, like, they say um, they built it in, like, a couple, like, maybe, like, 50 years. Mm-hmm. But with all that manpower... And like, say they just is a pulley system. It literally had to take each brick to get put on nine sec every nine seconds. Mm. So it makes no sense. And then at the top it was like a gold pedestal. So it's like, and at the bottom there was water, and all those things are conductor of electricity. Mm. So they're saying true. pyramids are power plants. Like I was telling Jay that before. Mm. Like those, they might be power plants. That's kind of dope. Because like there wasn't like they say pyramids are like was it like the tombstones to the pharaohs? Yeah. But they were like they didn't they didn't find no people. They just found water. And just like conductors, and there was a there's a building in India that's made entirely out of a rock, like chiseled really? from a rock, and it looks like it looks like you know 3D printers. Yeah, it looks like it was made like that. That's kind of sick. And it's like, how is that literally possible? Yeah, literally the designs look like like nobody with a hammer and chisel could do that by themselves if they were supposed to be called primitive mm-hmm. or a pr- like. That is true. That's what I'm saying. Like all these buildings, all these artifacts, like. There's like a, I don't know what it is. There's a, there's like a, there's like a rock or like little 
sculptures in a country in South America that have holes drilled into them that look like you could drill them. Yeah, so it's like, how the hell somebody that's primitive and uses so-called sticks and rocks could make something like that? That is true. And think about it. Pyramids, they're all over the place. They're not just in no, yeah. Egypt. There's pyramids on the bottom of the ocean. There's pyramids in freaking Japan. Pyramids in Mexico. So it's like all these people have pyramids, but they never have made... Con- they, we supposedly think yeah. they never made contact with each other. That is true. So it's like... Like, right now, we're not the most advanced that we've ever been. Like, this is what I tried to explain to Jay, but I didn't know, like, all the information yeah. to it. But, like, now now I'm thinking about, That's like... That's a crazy thought. Like, think about it. Yeah, what if, like, we got to a certain point before, and then apocalypse, and now we're starting back Now starting back over. Like, we started from, what, 0 BC? Yeah. Now we're just working our way back up. We're already at 2,000. Yeah. So, you know, never know, bro. That is facts. That That's, is kind of fucking wild. It is. Honest. It's scary, bro. Scary to think, cause it's literally impossible. Like we still, we don't have the technology to make a pyramid. No. Exactly how they made it. No. Like I don't know, bro. It's it's a scary thought to think, bro. It is a it's a world it's a weird. No, bro, it's very very much is. People don't listen to the the history books. Not everything. Not a- everything's true. Abraham Lincoln might be true, and George Washington. Yeah. Low key, our first president might have been a slave, and they just had George Washington. <laughs> Who knows, bro? It's kind of wild. Opinion, I don't. Bro. I don't know. Oh my gosh! But you have anything you want to talk about before we end the show and shit like that? Do you have anything that's on your mind that you want to speak about? Any conspiracies? Any questions you want to ask me? Any topics you want to talk about? Anything weird? Weird? You have the floor, my brother. Um, let me think. Oh, I have something. Remember what we was talking about in the game? Yeah. Freaking uh, Jada. How you feel about Jada and Will Smith, bro? Oh, man. First of all, man, fuck Jada. <laughs> no, fuck her, man. For real, for real. Because, like, what are you doing? Like, what is she doing? Why is she just always bashing publicly him. embarrassing him? For no reason. For what? He's enjoying his life, bro. What does she gain? Nothing. I feel like they said that she's um jealous of him. Because yeah. of all the success he has with movies and music, and he's one of the best actors who ever freaking lived, and things that like that. True. And she's just Jada. Yeah. Like that's that's all she was. Like what movies was she in? Freaking Bad Girl. I forgot what that movie's called. With the freaking. I don't even know any movie she's in. To be honest. She was in one movie. I forgot what it was. It was like with a bunch of. It was like Queen, Queen Latifah was in that movie. It was like The Bachelorette, or something like that. So it's like I feel like she just envies him, and she just wants to. I don't know, but like she's talking about some, like. He can he can't get me aroused in yeah. our sex life. Like who does that? For what? What what what's the point of even telling somebody that? Like what do you hope to gain with that? Nothing. Literally just publicly embarrassing him for no reason. None. Like most men, they do nothing wrong. He didn't there. do nothing. Like like I feel bad for like his whole family. Weird, bro. Oh, very much. They all a bunch of weirdos, mm-hmm. bro. Like he just he's the only normal one. That's facts. Like freaking Willow making this weird ass music. Jaden's fucking. Jaden's off the wall, bro. Whatever the hell he's doing. Freaking Jada is just. Being a freaking toxic like future and shit like that, like dang, bro. Free Will Smith, bro. For real, free him till he's backwards, bro. <laughs> till he's backwards. Oh my god, bro. But you have anything else you want to talk about, bro? The floor is yours. But any questions? Any pick a side things? Any topics you want to talk about? Uh, damn, I'm ass. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, bro. You can come back on the show. Well, you are gonna come back on the show, but this what I, the reason why I made this podcast, bro. Is cause you know all y'all y'all my brothers, me you, U J all them J and stuff like that. My guys on the team like we all got different personalities. Yeah. And I feel that people need should hear like what we think, no, yeah, what we believe in, what we talk about on the PSN parties. That's yeah. this is what I want to bring to the to the internet. Now nah, we're definitely interesting people. Yeah, bro. We all got different personalities. Yeah. Different um different views of the world. It's it's just funny to hear, bro. And yeah. I just want to look back on this podcast. And just be like, dang. It's going to be we, great memories. Great memories, great bro. fucking memories. Like, just imagine 10 years from now, bro. I, I told Jordan this before, bro. Like, when we all have, like, uh, married and have wives and kids and shit like that, we, like, we're going to see each other in the at the bar on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> like, grown-ups. You think so? Yeah, bro. I, I don't see- think, bro, I don't think any of us will ever grow up, really, honestly. As long as we still <laughs> have each other, bro. I don't know, bro. I feel like we're going to end up like grown-ups. Like, the movie. Oh, no, okay, I see what you mean now. That'd be funny. I don't want to ever be boring. I don't ever either, bro. But, okay, let me, I got this one question that we can end off with, and this is a this is a good one. Right. I was thinking about this today. Mm-hmm. If you had the chance to go back in time and tell your younger self something, like, give him advice. Like, you see him on the, see him on the street, 
and like you want to tell him something. What is something that you would tell him? And I'm gonna tell you what I think. Um, uh, there's one or two things I could do. I could one tell him to just really not worry about shit as much as I really do. Cause I, this, bro, as a kid, I was worrying about way too much, mm. way too much about what everybody thought. Facts. What I should do, what's like sociably right and stuff like that. So me if too. I want to give him actual good advice, that's what I tell. Him. Like yeah. really, and I don't think he'd me talking to myself. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't have even done it. I know what you mean. But um, otherwise, I'd tell him to invest in fucking Bitcoin, dude. You invested in Bitcoin? No, I said I would tell him to oh, invest yeah, in Bitcoin yeah. and get rich. Yeah, bro. I heard somebody invested like seven dollars and made like six yeah. figures. Yeah. Hey, bro. I would go back. Back in then. Time. Yeah. That would been. I think what I would tell myself is. The one thing I would tell myself is just don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. Like just you're going to go through a lot of things in life that you're going to learn from and that's just going to make make you who you are in the future. And then like just don't be too hard on yourself. Like just keep going. Like there's good you're going to learn a lot of lessons. Yeah. Like you're going to like the way you are now, you're going to work hard at the things you do. And sometimes all that work is not it might not pay off even though sometimes they do say Hard work pays off. Yeah. Sometimes you have to work a little bit harder. Sometimes it's just not good enough. No. But you can never be down on yourself and just not think about it or be too hard on yourself. You just yeah. got to keep going, bro. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's valid. That's facts? Yeah, that's facts. That that's, that's, yeah, that's facts, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm glad to have you on the show, my brother. No, I'm glad to be here. Honestly, I mean, at first I didn't even think I was going to get enough, so this is exciting. Why did you do? Why'd you think that? Nah, you should have heard Ja'Kai and Chris for the... They what is right? You know, way been an episode, bro. Hey, now yeah. look at him. You yeah. got you way before them, bro. Word, word, word. You know you my guy, bro. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But you. you know we're gonna have you on the show. Uh, you know I'll let you know. I'll call you. Mm-hmm. Up. And if know. if you have anything you want to talk about, like any conspiracy, just hit me up. We will we'll do an episode right then and there, bro. Better any conspiracy you. you figured out, anything you want to talk about, any oh. I almost forgot to mm. tell you. Ah, I got to talk about this one thing, bro, before we end this off. Uh-huh. All right. I had a dream the other day. It was me and Jay, and she was like, we was, you ever heard of Candyman? Yeah. So we was in the bathroom, and she was like, she was like, yo, let's do the Candyman challenge. I was like, what? <laughs> and she started saying, she's like, Candyman. And I was like, nah, nah, stop. <laughs> Candyman. And then I started saying it. And then we was at four. I was like, nah, I'm done. And then she said it. I tensed up. I said, and then I heard a, a loud ringing in my ear, bro. Nah, bro. Like a loud ringing in my ear. I'm like, <gasps> and then I wake up. I'm like, <gasps> I'm yeah. looking around. I'm like, yo, did she just summon a demon? Yeah. Bro, I was so scared. This was like two, three days ago, bro. Mm. I was so scared. Nah. Yo, dreams like that are fucking. First of all, people tell me that dreams correlate to somewhat in real life. Yeah, they say if you have dreams that are like of you getting chased by yeah. something that means you're running away from something yeah. like in real life like you're avoiding something yeah. but yo that was so like it felt so real like I literally mm-hmm. couldn't I felt like she, uh, the demon got me yeah. like I literally heard a ringing in my ear like I'm like you ever had a dream like that scary like that bro oh yeah so um actually another one in comp school um so I have this dream I'm at home and I go to use the bathroom and my parents are in the living room and I'm trying to turn on the light switch and I'm like yo the light switch won't work yo it won't work it won't work and they're just not there. And then I stop. I can't move. I'm trying to flick the light. Can't move at all. And there's like this laughing, like a clown laughing or some bullshit, right? Oh, hell no. And this no. isn't the fucked up part. That's a bad dream, right? And then my eyes open. You know sleep paralysis? Yeah. I could still hear the fucking laughing and I couldn't move. And I swear to God, dude, it felt like someone was like grabbing my blanket or something. And then I snapped out of it. But that, really? was, that was legit probably the scariest dream I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Wow, nah, that's I sleep was gonna talk about scary as fuck. Like, what is sleep paralysis, bro? I think it's like um, it's basically sleeping with your eyes open. Yeah, like I think I had that. Like you ever had? Like I remember I had. I think I had it before. Yeah. And like I woke up, and like I was like I couldn't speak. Yeah. And like I would try to talk. I'd be like, mm-hmm. and like I yeah. couldn't move my arms. Yeah. Like I'm getting scared because like I'm thinking I'm dead. Yeah. And like I'm trying to yell for help and nobody hears me, but nah, that's scary, that's bro. That's very scary. What the hell? Nah, yeah. Like, like I heard sleep paralysis is like when a ghost is like present, like it captures your mind or something like that. Could be possible. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yeah, I do. I think I do too, but I've never ever had like a, an experience like, to make me believe. I mean, I mean in here, like my parents think there's like, we have like a little troll in here. Like he takes things and really? they pop up somewhere randomly, like like I remember, I told this story to Fritz like in the second episode. We was uh, we we first moved here, and 
it was on my it was me, my sister, and my mom. My sister's like uh eight months old. So uh we tried to find our bottle. We didn't know where it was. It was yeah. literally in the basement, in the center of the basement. Mm. Yeah, it's like look like and like I never I never been in the basement. My mom yeah. was with my sister. My dad's not home. Like who the hell moved it down there? Yeah. And like literally placed it in the center of like as soon as you walk down, you just see a, the bottle. No, yeah, it's fucking wild. Like I I believe there are ghosts. Yeah. But I just uh, yo that's that dream scared the no, hell yeah. out of me, bro. No. Nah, that dream you just told me that's kind of scary. I'm not no, gonna lie. Dreams are fucking they're terrifying things because they um. Like, uh, while we're awake, you know, we only have the tip of our iceberg of our brain of our cognitive thought. Yeah, when like you sleep, it uses a little bit more. You go a little bit down the iceberg to where your brain could um, mm. access things. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, I remember people used to tell me when I was a kid, like, if, you, if you're if you in a bad dream, you have to kill yourself in it to wake up. I used to do <laughs> nah, that all I never heard of that. Bro, I used to do it all the time. I had no control of my dreams. Like, I remember, like, I would, like, when I was a kid, right, I used to have, I remember I had a dream when... It was like an ugly princess was trying to kiss me. I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want hey, you. Yo. I'll be running and there's a big flight of stairs. I jump. <laughs> I'm rolling, tumbling down the <laughs> stairs. Wild. I swear to God, bro. I'm like, I'm still alive. I'm like, damn, what the and I don't feel nothing coming in my dream. I'm like, yeah. I'm still I'm still dreaming. She tried to chase me, jump out the window, fall to my death. <laughs> and I literally wild. literally when I was I'm like in f- like first grade yeah. doing this, bro. Literally just killing myself in my dream. Like, cause like I heard like when you if you kill yourself in your dream, like you're gonna bounce. You're gonna wake up. Yeah. But like, ugh, nah, that's wild. I was literally committing suicide in my <laughs> dreams, bro. Nah, that's wild. Bro, that dreams are a scary thing. No, bro. very, very much so. Cause I mean, dude, at the time when you you cannot tell it's a dream. Exactly. You can't. You ever had a dream where like you wake up and you're still in a dream? What do you mean? Like I'm. Oh. Okay, like yeah. I'm dreaming. I'm like okay, okay. I wake up. I'm like okay, I'm up. And then. I wake up again. I'm like, wait, what yeah. the hell? I thought I was. I thought I've been yeah. up. Like, oh my, it's so weird. And the yeah. time you going by so fast. Like, you ever wake up? It's like four o'clock in the morning. You go back to sleep. It's like nine o'clock. It feels like it's been five. No, minutes. Yeah, it happened to me fucking today, bro. I woke up at like um, like ten or nine or some shit. And I woke up and my clock said one fifty five. When uh this morning. This morning. Yeah. It what was one fifty five in the afternoon? Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you do you hate when like you go to sleep, and it's like you about to go to bed, right? Like ah. Oh. Had a long day. You go to yeah. sleep. It feels like you sleep for five minutes. Yes, that shit is awful. It's the worst, <laughs> especially when I was in the Marines, bro. Oh my god, I'd be like, oh, I'm exhausted, bro. I can't wait to get some good sleep. I'd wake up to my alarm clock at five a.m. or like four. <laughs> <laughs> that's too quick, bro. It's the worst feeling in the world. But I think I think that's a good way to end off the podcast, word, bro. Word, word, word. Yo, thanks yeah, for having. I'm glad you're on the show, hey, bro. Thanks you for know. having me, brother. Of course, bro. You know you're part of the gang, bro. Part Thank of the mobsters. You. Of course. My brothers, man. But flea bands. Yo, flea bands, <laughs> my. You know what I'm saying? Big gangsters. But thank y'all for tuning into the episode, episode nine of No Regulars Podcast. If you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. We're on Spotify at No Regulars Podcast and Anchor and Apple Music. Apple Podcasts is soon to come. I just need to pay the fee. I'm being lazy. Yes, sir. But you know what I'm saying? Tune in to the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know, bro. Hit the notification bell. We going up, bro. You know what I'm saying? We word diff- two. You know, word two, bro. Big gangsters. We different. They regular, no regular, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.